Here's the sharpened version, and here that's the after, and there is the before, right? So there's before and after, and look what it did, man. It sharpened it very nicely. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I assume you are here because you have a blurry photo and you need to get it sharpened. I think I may have a solution for you that is very inexpensive. So if you only have a few photos, like under five, then you can do this for free. Let's get on with it just for some context. I'm a professional photographer, and while I don't often take blurry photos, occasionally I do. And here's an example. Uh, this set here is with a model that I was shooting sort of an editorial where uh, we had borrowed someone's car. It was towards the end of the shoot. She got on top of the car here, and we're doing this some shots from the inside. And for whatever reason, my lens was... I think it was focusing on the windshield versus her. And if you zoom in, the shots are blurry, okay? Um, I can't have that as a professional, right? I don't do this often. I mean, you can see the rest of the shoot. Uh, we shot some decent photos, right? Kind of an editorial. She's supposed to be broke down with a nice car or whatever, and a bikini happens all the time, right? So anyway, um, let's get on with it. I'll show you the program. I just thought I'd search the web, see what I can find. I know of a program called Topaz. There is a hefty fee uh, to download that. I think it's around $100 or something, $150 maybe. I'm not sure. I'm looking for free or inexpensive, right? Because I only have six or eight photos here from this set. And of course, the model love these. Uh, so I need to figure out a way to get these sharpened. So the program that I used is called Vance AI. And if this ends up helping you out, please give the video a like. That'll help get it seen, and I will really appreciate it, okay? So Vance AI, it's vanceai.com slash sharpen dash AI. I'll link that below. They didn't contact me to do this. That's what everybody says, right? I was just kind of desperate, and I was out. And I tried two or three different online um, sharpeners, and this one, to me, had the best uh, result, Okay, they didn't look too, uh, it's a little bit processed, but not too over-processed, right? Um, and for what you pay for it, um, it's a good deal. So when you create an account, um, you get, I think, five free credits uh, when you create an account. So if you just have a couple photos you need to sharpen, this is it, right? Now, if you have a batch, you have a whole bunch of them, I'd subscribe. You can get a monthly subscription for four ninety five. You get 100 credits, right? Um, you can cancel any time, unused credits roll over. I think that's a pretty cool deal if you do this a lot, right? I think that's a great deal, and I do like the quality of what it does. So let's, you can do this, download their program, or you can just do it on the web, right? I haven't tried it on mobile. Uh, give it a shot. See if it works so maybe in the web browser on mobile. I'm not sure if they have an app. You can look for it. I'm just going to go out and pick one of my blurry shots uh, not one of my finer moments, right, as a professional photographer, but it happens. Here's one of the blurry shots, right, and I'm just going to, it brought it in. Over on the right, you have your settings. They're just some presets, general, motion blur, lens blur, soft blur, and very blur. Um, I'm just going to pick general. These are, as you picked each one of these, you can see it changes the sharpness level. Maybe I just want to sharpen a little bit. Maybe I want to sharpen um, a little bit more, a little bit more, right? General. Um, it sharpens quite a bit, right? Portrait retouch, I think that's going to do maybe some skin smoothing and things like that. I'm going to turn that off because I really don't want it um, messing with anything except trying to sharpen it, right? And obviously you have a denoise option and an enlarge option, but we're here because we want to fix our blurry photo. And it tells me down here I have three credits remaining. I haven't paid them anything yet. So uh, I'm going to hit start process. And we'll see how long that takes. Uh, less than 10 seconds, maybe. Still going. About 10 seconds. And I'm going to zoom in here. There's a little 100%. You can zoom in to 200%. So look at the difference between the left side and the right side. This thing just saved me from having egg on my face. <laughs> well, I already got egg on my face, right? Um, but she doesn't know that, right? Uh, the client doesn't know that. So... Um, I do have a sharp photo now. I could batch process all eight of those images that I had. I'd have to go get their monthly subscription. I'm out $4.95. Big deal, right? But then I can download the image. You see it's got a watermark right here. I can download it. Um, and when I do that, it's going to download it without the watermark. Now, when you run out of credits and you want to do more, you'll have to 
get the little subscription over here that they have. If you do this on a regular basis, I highly recommend this. I mean, look at this. This is great. Um, so I did this earlier. I think I already did this image. Uh, it was a similar image. It wasn't this image. So here's the sharpened version, right? And here, that's the after, and there is the before, right? So there's before and after, and look what it did, man. It sharpened it very nicely. A l processed it a little bit, but um, I think, you know, for what it is and what you pay for it, I think this is a really nice tool. I highly recommend it. So thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for watching. Like I said, give it a like, give it a subscribe if you're so inclined. If you're a photographer and you want to follow some of my other stuff, I do a lot of live photo shoots. Not live photo shoots, but behind the scenes. Um, a lot of Photoshop tutorials and things like that. So uh, give it a subscribe if you're into that kind of stuff. Have a great day.